Today is Saturday, March 16th. This is the 1976 Cadillac Eldorado power antenna. This is a full level 10 restoration from my friend Dave at Bornemans Restorations and Customs in Pennsylvania. The unit was sent to me for restoration. It had previously gone somewhere else and was purported to be a restored unit. And unfortunately, one person's definition of a restored unit is not consistent always with the original design intent of the power antennas. So about 50% of the antennas that I restore for people have uh, been previously serviced elsewhere and they wind up coming here sooner or later for a proper and full restoration. So 1976 downward compatible through 73 is a four year only design with a special limited feature whereby the unit is energized by turning on the radio and the telescopic mast extends for approximately 10 inches and stops. That's the limited rise. Similarly, when you shut off the radio, the unit fully contracts. So this design was four years, but is unique and um, not necessarily interchangeable throughout for those four years, whereas 73 and 74 are the same. 75 is a little different. 76 is entirely unique in terms of the limiting switch, more specifically the spring-loaded toggle mechanism within the limiting switch. So this particular unit was burned to a crisp on the limiting switch and the toggle head disintegrated entirely. The unit was not properly serviced as the gears were caked with grease that had basically turned to wax. So when I come, when I generate a restoration for somebody that's a complete breakdown of the entire unit all the way down to the final screw. It includes the rewinding of the motor, it includes servicing and replacement as necessary of any of the worn gears, of which there's five gears that comprise the movement of this specialty self-parking limiting based antenna, <coughs> as well as all of the other uh, fundamental aspects to the restoration. So the bare metal has been uh, fully stripped, coated, with, uh, coated and climatized with a corrosion resistant surface treatment. As you can see, it's a beautiful show quality unit, doesn't have any of the caked on grease or paint or undercoatings that you find in a lot of these antennas which generally go inside the mechanism as well. So the unit has been completely disassembled as shown in video number one which is the comprehensive bench layout of the of some of the components comprising the kinematic motion assembly of this antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and do a functional validation test and the first thing I'm going to test is make sure that the antenna has continuity and we'll be looking for the light bulb to light on over here and it does so we know we'll get a radio signal when we connect the coaxial cable okay i'm going to go ahead and energize the unit and the first thing we're going to be looking for is the limited rise feature so the unit rises approximately 10 inches stops and self parks that's unique to 73 76 and specific to 76. Similarly, when the unit is retracted, it comes to a self-parking position whereby you can hear the rotation continue on for another three rotations once the antenna has been fully collapsed. So now we'll do a complete rise. And the unit has the full 36 inches of extent. And we're retracting the system. And the unit self parks. Okay, so this is the 1976 Cadillac Eldorado limiting based power antenna. This is from my friend Dave at Borman's Restorations. As soon as I get his okay to ship, reply confirmation. This is George in Florida. I have over 375,000 original vintage parts from 1959 through 1976 all the way through 1978 for the Cadillac Eldorado. 75,000 parts specific to the 67 to 78 Eldorados. I'm best known for my restoration of the Cadillac steering wheels, the tilt and telescopic steering columns, the power seat mechanisms, the instrument clusters, and other critical hard to source original vintage Cadillac items, including the power antennas, all the way from 1957 through <clears throat> 1976 with the limiting feature and through 78 uh, for the two wire design, as well as the 69 and prior designs, which are two wire based systems. There were no power antennas from 1970 through 1972 as the 
antennas were a filament inside the windshield. Today is Saturday, March 16th. This is George in Florida. Thank you very kindly.